That's something a little different for you today. So stick around and wait until you see this. Let's see what we can get into with Life of Dose's YouTube channel. So here as you see we got a PC 220 LC that some kids decided to take a heyday on it and break every piece of window in it. Little buggers, eh? So I'm here today to put uh, Lexan in this unit. I suggest glass, but the customer wanted Lexan just because Lexan does scratch and fade and stuff like that. It doesn't break, but it's good stuff. Protect it from the wind in the winter time. So we're gonna get everything out here, clean up all the broken glass. That's where we're gonna start off, get all that cleaned up, and then we'll uh, start making some patterns and see if we can't get this thing done today. I got the whole day to get this done. So hopefully you enjoy and stick around. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button. You like this kind of stuff. So the first one we're gonna do is this little one up here. Now, I can't get the rubber off that because it's a weird funky rubber, so we're just gonna measure it and cut it to size and hopefully she fits. Getting into the table over there for a little table action. So I don't know if you guys know the difference between Lexan and Flexi. Lexan is unbreakable, Flexi is breakable. So everything I do is Lexan. So now we're going to check that corner with a little piece of something or other here so we get the right angle of the angle. So hopefully you can uh, hear me because there's a lot of noise but I, I got to leave the old vehicle running there so I have power. Okay, corner. Corner I say. So what I like to do is take a little piece of cardboard and just kind of cut a corner like you think it is and then just take a uh, marker and I think I got it right on the money I did. Look at that. How's that for a guess? Oh yeah. So now we take this, we uh, cut the corners. Give it a cut there, give it a cut there. Alright, well that was cut. You can take the clear plastic, just pull it back a little bit all the way around. I don't take the clear plastic off until I'm done installing. Because that way you don't scratch your dicks out of this stuff. And I would suggest never wipe this stuff unless you have some kind of material for it. I always just hose it down. That's probably your best bet. It's like I said, this stuff just cocked right over. There is better stuff out there that doesn't scratch as bad, but it's big box. Throw that in the garbage so it doesn't blow away. So now what we gotta do is you gotta go up there and we'll put this one in and see if it fits. So I'll put you somewhere. Hold on. Let's give you a little angle to dangle here. Oh, that door ain't gonna stay open, is it? Oh yeah, it's gonna wanna go all the way around. Why wouldn't it? Hold on, let me get a bungee cord. There we go. Decent. A little bit of glass cleaner for lube around the rubber, just to help the rubber go out and around it. Now this rubber is pretty thick and it's old, so it's pretty stiff. But we should be able to get her in no problem. There you go, start on that side. There on that side, slide her down. Are we down, we're down. We just keep feeding her. Now they see working about with uh, this kind of stuff too. Is it's not like glass, you don't have to worry about busting it as you're putting it in by pressing against it. So you can just kind of give her. There we go. So that one's in. So now all we gotta do is lock it. The locking strip. I'll show you how to do that. So there's all different kinds of tools for these locks too. It depends what lock you're running. Sometimes you have to get different lock tools and this and that and the other things, but this one seems to fit this guy. So we're gonna go with it. Now when you're putting these locks back in, what this does is it squeezes the rubber so the window doesn't fall out. But make sure you feed it. If you don't, what happens is you end up stretching this and then it becomes too long. And then after it warms up, it shrinks, you have a big gap. But just so you know, it's pretty much impossible to be perfect 100% lined up by the time I get to the end because they always stretch a little. I'm just hoping I'm short because if I'm short, I can pull it. Thank God it's not too freaking cold out today. That would have sucked. The wind's a little cool still, but it's not bad. So I am a little short. They fed her too much, so you just bring her back, give her a little pull, and carry on. Give her a little tightening up. Pull her a little bit harder this time. There you go. See how much longer I am now? What's really going on? You can't win with this stuff sometimes. We're going to make her fit. I ain't cutting it. A lot of guys just cut that and say, that's good enough. So take your time, do it right. 
Sometimes you can't do everything right. So there you go, there's one done. I'll leave the plastic on until I'm done them all. And Bob's your uncle. So let's get some measurements and we'll cut another one. So I'll be back. Well, I'm done cutting these two. Hopefully they fit, but let's find out. So basically I just took a measurement in channel and I cut round corners on this. And then we can just kind of set her in, hopefully, and bend her into the shape. And there you go. That one could work. There's some dirt in there there is. Thought I'd get all that out, but I guess not. There it is. Perfect. So we'll grab the other one. And hopefully it'll sit on that side. Sorry about that. Had to trim the plastic back. Hopefully get all the glass on this side. Sure looks like it. So this one should go in here, like so. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice and tight. And there we go. See, we got a good little lap there. I'm gonna figure out something before I leave for that and maybe throw a handle on this for him or something like that. You don't want the wind blowing through there and that's the only problem with this stuff. See how it's not like glass, eh? He's a little flimsy. I should have brought some wind cord with me. I'll figure something out before we go. So I'm gonna figure out how to start this thing up and spin it around so I can use the actual track to get up on it. There you go, that was freaking awesome. I'll give you some more of that in a bit. I will. Maybe we'll take it for a little dig. Oh, dig! What's going on, Jim? Run for cover! The are coming! <laughs> Run for cover! They're coming, Jim! All right, I'm taking a little bit of a coffee break right now just to see my situation. But I got the back three done. Right, even that one's done in there. So that's freaking awesome. I got this one to go, which is a pain in the ass, but you're gonna, it's gonna get done, so we're gonna do it. I got this one to go, and I got this one to go. This one should be pretty easy. This one should be pretty easy. Gonna make a pattern, but this one here is a little bit of a dick, and I'll show you why, Captain. Now I got an idea for it, it's not gonna be a dick, because I got a plan, man. So this old girl here, she used to roll up and down. He doesn't really care if it rolls up and down or not because you can just open the door if you're hot. So we're gonna try to get this channel out of here and I got some B900 rubber, which I'm gonna put around this outside edge and we're gonna make her one piece window right there. But we'll get the jig out, we'll cut off that weld, that weld, and maybe cut off some of this and that piece should come right out of there. And then we'll get this piece out of there and uh, we should be golden. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot better than the way it was. Less to go wrong, no leaks, no air leaks. So we're gonna have a quick coffee here and then we'll get back to that. It's starting to be a beautiful day out today. Friggin' right. This window here is just an ignorant one to get to, just because you have all the boom and everything in the way. And normally what I do is I spin these rubbers around and hook them from the inside. 
But this is kind of an odd shaped rubber that kind of, it's got a double hook so it doesn't leak. So you can't just spin the rubber around. So all you can do is make sure the gentleman that owns the machine leaves you the keys. Cause now we got to sneak up here, stand in this goo goo and see if we can't get it in there. What's really going on? Have an eye, Captain. Wind's starting to pick up. Can you see? Probably not. I got you in an ignorant spot, but hey. It is what it is. Have an eye down there and see if I can't get this around the corner. I'll just stand right inside here. Oh, boys. See how this one's longer? Yeah, can't help that. Not even a little bit. Oh, man, it just took it out. Cardboard it is. Mine's pretty getting dirty. There we go. All right. There's something happened. There we go. Hey, yeah. Jim, how you doing up there? As good as me? Probably. I'm doing pretty good now. Comfy. Comfy in here. How about the wind? Decent. Oh, come on, get around that corner. Once I get around the corner, I should be golden. I'm still getting shit on my back from the bottom of the boom, but it is what it is. It is. Oh, don't come out. Why would you? Tell you one thing, this hydraulic fluid just everything when it's leaking. If I can just get around the corner, it'll probably stay in. Probably get around the corner. I think I got her. All right, let's get out of here. We'll come back up here and see if we can't get her up the rest of the way. Now we're gonna have to cut this one because there's no way it dicks. I'm pulling it back out. Not a chance. There we go. Just need a knife, I'll be right back. There we go. Done. So there's the most ignorant one done right there. That's the worst one on an excavator, whether it's glass or Lexan. They're not fun to do. See, that's where it's laying in there. But that's done. So we're done that one. So I'm going to take a quick break and we'll get on the other side. Actually, before we take a break, I'm going to swing the unit around so the door is facing us. Into the sun where it's nice and warm. Kids broke all the windows, eh? No, they didn't. Is that what happened? Yeah. It's a risk you take with these machines, though. Yeah. It happens all the time, believe it or not. It doesn't matter where it is. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Take her easy. Yeah, you too. Oh, there you go. She's all done. We got all the windows in her. Yep. And uh, she looks pretty good. No, I'm She's bulletproof now. Bulletproof? Pretty much. Lexan, good stuff. Good day's work right there. Well, there you go. Had a good day at work today. Got a lot done today. Finished that excavator as you've seen. So hopefully you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if you did like that stuff. I did get some merch in today for myself. And don't buy it. I'm going to cancel that stuff when I get home because it's just sticker. Here's the stickers I got. Like, look at them. They're made out of paper, so you know what? You can't even put them on your freaking vehicle. So they're garbage. I got my sweater in. Made the writing as big as it would let me. And look how small it is. What's really going on? is right and then the hood covers it and then right in the middle it's fraying so that hoodie's dicked then i got this shirt and i should change the writing to white for sure but there's a light hoodie and uh what's really going on decent life with bills of but i don't like them so don't buy them because i don't want you to be upset about it so i'm gonna go home and uh delete that right now i don't know what the mug looks like i haven't opened it yet but let's open it and check it out I don't know, man. This merch thing is a pain in the ass. It really is. Trying to figure out who does the best work and this and that and the other thing. I ain't finding anybody that I like so far. Especially it's way too much. Oh, and, and it, plus it cost me $18 duty and taxes because they sent it FedEx. So that was a freaking joke on its own. So the mug's not bad, eh? What's really going on? I got it on the wrong side, though, because I drink with this hand. I should have got it on the other side. Oh, well, whatever. Hey. The mug's okay. I like the mug. Well, that's all right. But other than that, I know it's my designs. It's my fault. But I still think they want too much money for what they're giving us. Friggin' right to do. But I'm going to go home and relax and see what else happens. So hopefully they get enough footage here for you today. Hopefully everybody's staying safe like me. Love y'all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.